I guess. Today we're gonna continue uh, creating our corridor and we're gonna actually go to uh, create a corridor. So from the last time we have the D2 alignment which we typed in and here it is. And today we're gonna hit the corridors bar and the next subsection is actually corridor. So we can hit the first one, create corridor. The command pane will open and we're gonna name the corridor. So we're gonna call it detour. Corridor. And it's asking us for the horizontal alignment, vertical alignment, original ground if we have native material, fill material. So native material, actually fill material, it's gonna be clay. Native material is gonna be clay. Uh, reference surfaces, finished design. And uh, if we have reference lines and everything will go there into that. So we're gonna hit OK. This will open a corridor uh, template editor so it's asking us for the beginning station now if you don't know the station you can just click the end, uh, beginning of your corridor right so we know that the beginning is here on the <coughs> west side and it picked out the automatically the uh, stationing of that corridor now if you have a definition predefined or whatever you can copy do a new one and uh, Right now we don't have anything, so we're just gonna hit OK. This will open uh, corridor editor here, and we can start creating our road. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do uh, let's say three meters at two percent each way. So I'll put a little crown, and then I'm just gonna go three, two, one on each side. How that works is uh, I'm gonna do in an offset and slope so here are the various uh, definitions i'm gonna do offset uh, previous node it's gonna be the node is the center line offset three meters and slope i'm gonna put negative two percent because i want it to go down and i can uh, name it edge of uh, gravel let's say this is a gravel one i'm gonna add it and as you can see down here it's already creating our corridor on the fly so now i'm gonna go um, let's say uh, another five meters at three two one slope and this is gonna be our tie in did I do that? Yeah, tie in. Just so it's. Uh, so I'll hit add. Oh, and I should have gone negative. So to go back and uh, change it, you just need to here at the bottom where you have your instruction, double click that, and it's gonna bring that. And I'll just hit negative, and now I'm gonna go. That's assuming I'm in fill. You can do conditional uh, tie-ins and everything. Right now we're just creating a simple road. Uh, if we're gonna turn on uh, 3D view, and I'm gonna put it up here, and double, oh, I have that on. Oh, it's locked, okay, so I'll just do my filter, double click, so as you can see, we are having a nice half of the road now what we can do is go back to the point uh, the node one and do the same thing on the other side however up here under the uh, corridor template you have something which is called mirror instruction so if you hit the mirror instruction what is it going to do it's going to mirror anything above that so it basically created our road got the nice uh, road corridor already in there under project explorer you see there is a corridor and all the information so if you ever escape from this comment and uh, oh something doesn't look right you can just go back and edit it and it's gonna open it uh, open the editor back up and you can uh, go and change your points 
Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a quick and easy, simple corridor, but uh, as you can see, also what happened is it created a surface. So right away you have, you see here, surface finished, which you can export into your machine. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next one where we go into more detail of the uh, instructions and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the original ground and we'll find in daylight line and all that. So stay tuned. See ya.